Hi, today I am going to be showing you the difference between long division and short division. In my previous tutorial, I've shown you how to do long division. Now I'm going to show you again and show you the difference between the long division and short division. So, as previous, as I explained before, we're going to be following the various steps when we divide using long division and even with short division as well. So first, we're going to divide each digit. We multiply, subtract, and then we bring down the next number. So with 786 divided by 2, we divide 7 by 2. So how many two goes into 7? We have 3. And then you multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. And subtract. 7 minus 6 gives you 1. Bring down the next digit, which is 8. So 2 goes into 89 times. 9 times 2 is 18. Subtracting that, you have nil or 0. So bring down the next number, which is 6. How many 2 goes into 6? You have 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Subtracting that, you have 0 or nil. Now with a short division, we are going to be doing a lot of mental calculations here. We won't be doing each single step we did as in the long division. So we'll keep it as you see it now. We're going to divide uh, 7 by 2. So how many 2 goes into 7? We have 3. 3 times 2 is 6. And subtracting 7 minus 6, write down the remainder there just before 8 gives you 18. 2 goes into 18 9 times. 9 times 2 is 18, so we have a 0 remainder. 2 goes into 6 3 times, so your answer is 393. So we're showing you the difference between the long and the short division. Now, let's have another example. So we have 246 divided by 6. We're going to divide uh, 2 by 6. 6 doesn't go into 2, so that's nil or 0. Multiply, 0 times 6 gives you 0. 2 minus 0 gives you 2. Bring down the next digit, which is 4. 6 goes into 24 4 times. 4 times 6 is 24. Subtracting that, we have 0. Bring down the next digit to 6. 6 goes into 6 once. 1 times 6 is 6. Subtracting that, we have nil. With the short division, you do the mental calculation again, like we did in the first example. 6 doesn't go into 2, so that's nil. 0 times 6 is 0, so take up the 2 again. 2 goes into 24 4 times. 4 times 6 is 24, giving you 0 remainder. 6 goes into 6 once, then you have 41 as your answer. Now you've seen the tutorial. I want you to have a go at these exercises. And press the pause button while you're working out and press play again when you want to see the answers. And these are the answers. I hope you got them right. And thank you for watching this video.